talking here about logs. So you, you may well have done some of this in maths. If you don't do AS maths, you might not have done this. So I'm going to do a very quick discussion of logs. So you will know from maths that 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 10 times 10 times whoops, 10, which is equal to 1,000. Okay, so 10 to the power of 3 equals 1,000. When we talk about logs, you'll find logs on your calculator. So there's two buttons on your calculator. Um, there's this one here, which is the log button. And there's this one here, which is the LN button. So log and LN. Now these are both logs, okay? The log button here just means log to the base 10. Logs have different bases. And the natural log button here, we call that natural log, that just means log to the base e. So there's two different logs here. Now logs, could, this is what we call the base. Okay, you can have log to the base of any number you want. It could be log to the base two, three, four, five, but the usual ones that we use are log to the base 10 and log to the base e. Log to the base e we write as ln or natural log and log to the base 10 often we just write that as log. So if you just see log, that's log to the base 10. You can assume that. And if you see ln that's log to the base e okay so what do these logs mean well if we've got 10 to the power of 3 if we do log to the base 10 a thousand essentially what we're saying here is what power do we have to raise 10 to in order to get a thousand so the answer as i hope you'll see is 3 okay because we are saying, what power do we have to raise 10 to to get 1,000? Well, it's 3. Okay, so that's what, we, that, that, that's what we are doing when we do a log. So if you do log to the base um, 10, 100, okay, you will get 2. Because what we're saying here is, you need to raise 10 to the power of 2 to get 100. Okay, so let's do that on our calculator. If you take your calculator and you press log, now remember there's no base 10 here, but that log value just means log to the base 10. Okay, when there's no base shown, we assume it's 10. If you put 100 in there, what we're asking here is, this is log to the base 10, remember? So what, what do you have to raise 10 to to get 100? and it's two, you have to raise 10 to the power of two. Again, if we do the one that we did previously here, what do we have to raise 10 to in order to get 1,000? So we have to raise, when we, plug, when we type that in, we're writing log to the base 10, even though it doesn't say 10, we know that this, number, this, this um, value here is log to the base 10. Log to the base 10 of 1,000 gives you three. So what we're saying there is you need to raise 10 to the power of 3 to get a thousand okay so this is log now when we talk about log to the base e if we do log to the base e 50 what you'll get is this so ln remember that means log to the base e ln of 50 is 3.91 and what that means is Remember, we're asking the question here, what value do I need to raise e by in order to get 50? So e to the power of 3.91 gives us 50. So if we type this into our calculator, e to the power of 3.91, we get nearly 50. Now, the reason it's not quite 50 is because it's not actually 3.91. It's 3.912. Okay, so maybe we should do that. Let's have a look. E to the 3.912 gives us very, very close to 50, doesn't it? Okay, so that's what we mean when we do a log. Okay, now again, if you look at one more, a general example now, okay. Um, let's say we've got log to the base B. Now remember, logs can be to any base. So what on earth does this mean? What this means is, what power do I have to raise b to 
to get x? And the answer is b needs to be raised to the power of y to get x, because that's what you get when you log to the when when you do log to the base b x, you get y. Okay, so this is just the same format as what we've done here, what we've done here. It's just a general equation. Okay, so when we do logs, it allows us basically logs allow us to work out a power. Okay, they allow us to work out an unknown power. So we've talked about logs, but um, how can we actually use them? Well, just a couple of quick examples here. So let's say you've got something like this. You've got 10 to the, uh, to the power of n equals 1 million. Okay, now you could obviously work this out without using logs because it's, it's a pretty straightforward example. But what we're going to do here is we're going to try and work out what, or we are going to work out, what value do you have to raise 10 by? So what is n? What value do you have to raise 10 by in order to get a million? Now, you could tell me off the top of your head what that is, I'm sure, but let's just go through the process anyway of working this out. So to work this out, you would just do log to the base 10, because we're asking the question, what power do we have to raise 10 to um, in order to get a million? So log to the base 10 of a million. Okay, so that's right, isn't it? So what power do we have to raise 10 to in order to get a million? That's what we do when we do log to the base 10 of a million. That's what we're asking. Okay, so if we take our calculator here and we put the value into our calculator, what you're going to get here is you use the log button here. So this log button is, although it doesn't say to the base 10, remember that is log to the base 10 of 1 million. Okay, so have we got that right there? Yep. Okay, and that's going to give you, so that's going to give you uh, 6, which is the correct answer. Okay, so you have to raise 10 to the power of 6 in order to get a million. Okay, so what we're doing here is this, by doing this, by using logs, we're able to work out this value of n here. n equals 6. That's what we've just worked out. Okay, now I know this is a very simple example, but a more there are pr plenty of other ones that are a bit more tricky than this, and obviously... You can, you can use them in this way. So what we're saying is by using logs, we can calculate or we can work out an unknown power. Okay. Now we can do the same thing with E values. So if you say, what value do we have to raise E by? So E to the power of N equals 500. Okay. E to the power of N equals 500. Let's say we've got this problem. So we want to work out what N is, what this unknown power is here. So to do that, we're going to use natural logs. So log to the base e 500 so what we're doing what we're doing here is saying what value do i have to raise e by to get 500 and the answer will give us this so remember log to the base e is ln ln 500 equals 6.2146 okay so 6.2146. So in this case, n equals 6.2146. Um, so remember, the other way you could write this if you wanted was ln 500 is it also going to give you 6.2146 because log to the base e is natural log. Now, you can check that this is right because if you go back and you raise e to the power of 6.2146, you get an answer of 499.996, okay, which is round up to 500, doesn't it, okay? So there you go. You can see how you can use these things to work out unknown powers. The whole point of logs, or the way in which we use them in physics, is to work out unknown powers.